In the Mediterranean Sea, the construction of KM3 Net Telescope, which should have become the largest in the world, is ongoing. It's several cubic meters in size. The IceCube Neutrino Telescope, of one cubic kilometer in size, and placed at the depth of nearly 2,500 meters under the sheet of ice. It's continuing its research in Antarctica. A team of physicists is trying to identify the source of a strange radio signal of an inexplicable origin. This signal has been recorded in Antarctica by the experimental Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, ANITA. In April 2019, the largest underwater neutrino research experiment, which experts call the window into space, was launched on Lake Baikal. Another two clusters of the Baikal GVD Deep Sea Neutrino Telescope were put into operation to study the natural flow of high-energy neutrinos. Neutrino catchers. Neutrino observatories are located in different parts of our planet. In the Caucasus Mountains, Baksan Neutrino Observatory. In the Kamioka Zinkus Mine in Japan, Super Kamiokande, and at the South Pole Ice Cube. A large-scale neutrino network around the world is trying to catch the elusive neutrino using deep-sea and underground neutrino telescopes. Highly sensitive detectors in cubic kilometers of water and other expensive equipment. And special conditions are being created. Why is there so much interest in such a small and invisible particle? Here with you is Science News on Alatra TV channel. And now we will learn more about it. So what is known about neutrinos? Neutrino is one of the smallest and the most common elementary particles in the universe. Neutrinos interact very weakly with the substance and have a high penetrating capability. It is believed that this particle is emitted during the transformation of atomic nuclei and the disintegration of elementary particles in the bowels of the Earth and its atmosphere inside the Sun, in other stars, and so on. In laboratory conditions, the nuclear reactors and accelerators of the charged particles are the sources of neutrino. It is believed that neutrino is extremely difficult to detect and in order to do this, the creation of appropriate conditions and the particular equipment, expensive materials, etc. are required. Let's take a look at a simple figurative example for understanding. When the sun is shining in the sky, we are able to see visible light with our eyes, thanks to informational photons 4, which are carrying information about the world around us. If the sun goes over the horizon, then visible light is not able to pass through the earth and does not reach the pupil of the eye, and the person does not see it. But if our eyes were able to pick up neutrinos emitted by the sun, or we had neutrino glasses, as scientists say, then a person would be able to see the sun literally through the Earth, since neutrinos are able to fly through the Earth and other objects in the universe. Interesting facts about neutrino. It has the proper shape of a five-pointed star, has very weak interaction with matter. It has an all-pervading effect. Neutrino may or may not have mass. It may or may not interact with gravitational field, with magnetic or electromagnetic fields. It is moving at the speed of light, but it can slow down and change its trajectory. It is able to travel an unlimited distance without loss of time, forming a wormhole in time and space. A lot, to a great extent, manifests in neutrino. A lot is the force due to which all the material world exists. Alat also denotes a common unit, the forerunner of time. Alat has multiple manifestations. In scientific understanding, Alat is a single unit of time, which has a great importance for all matter. If we take modern indication of earthly time, Alat makes up 12 minutes, more precisely, 11 minutes, 56.74 seconds. When scientists get to the notion of this important particle of foundation, so to say, the main building block of the universe, there will be not just a grand revolution in science, there will be an evolutionary jump. Then scientists will understand what is hidden under the secret of time 
and having realized that they will reveal the true process of matter formation in the universe. If people know the essence of Alat, they will get huge opportunities. The prospects for the development of the study of neutrinos are huge. It is important for what purposes people will use these scientific discoveries. The secrets of nature are revealed to those researchers whose goals and aspirations are pure and can serve for the benefits of all mankind. While learning about the topics of research on the nature of neutrinos, we came to a question. How did people in ancient times study elementary particles, the structure of the universe and cosmic objects? How did they understand and use the knowledge about micro and macrocosm in its invisible part without observatories, expensive equipment and special conditions? As of today, it is confirmed by ancient written sources, ancient artifacts and megalithic structures preserved in different parts of the planet. Maybe nowadays, scientific discoveries are not new at all, but just forgotten old ones. Here is some historical information. Since the beginning of the 19th century, the concept of non-material origin, which existed outside time and space, was purposefully removed from all publicly available sources. As a result, all subsequent generations were raised with a dominating materialistic, purely consumer worldview. Bearing problems and misunderstanding in all areas of society, including science, for example, the problem of the so-called elementary particles physics crisis is acute. Speaking precisely of neutrino, questions arise about the nature of the neutrino. It is unclear what mechanism generates the mass of neutrinos and many other questions. The primordial Alatra physics report is helping to solve not only these problems, it contains the origin of the answers leading to evolutionary and cosmic breakthroughs and a huge potential for new research and scientific discoveries. From the Primordial Alatra Physics Report In fact, neutrino is like photon, one of the smallest and most common elementary particles in the universe. Neutrino consists of five phantom pole particles, where two phantom pole particles are connected via Alat phantom pole particle with two other phantom pole particles. The following fact related to a power particle, Alat phantom pole particle, is especially worth paying attention to. As part of the photon 3, Alat phantom pole particle connects one phantom pole particle with another one. And because of this, elementary particle exhibits a more rough power interaction in the material world. As a part of the neutrino, Alat phantom pole particle connects two phantom pole particles with another two. And because of it, this elementary particle exhibits a more subtle interaction in the material world. A distinctive feature of neutrino is its all-pervasive effect due its very weak interaction with the matter. Its main function is to transfer internal information about the objects. However, unlike the photon, it does not destroy the elementary particles which the object comprises. Passing through the object, the neutrino only reads information from the head phantom pole particles of elementary particles that make up some particular object, just like a real pole particle does. Thus, the neutrino stream becomes a carrier of information about the internal structure and the state of objects and phenomena. Unlike the streams of photons, which mainly carry the information about the external state of objects or events, neutrino carries information about the inner structure and state of the matter from which it is released. It withdraws from the composition of complex elementary particles and partly carries the information about the matter through which it passes. In the latter case, the neutrino exchanges information with the head phantom pole particles of the elementary particles which constitute the object. 
Neutrino can exist in several states, but unlike photons, it will not change quantitative composition of phantom Po particles. It will always be permanent, five phantom Po particles. The neutrino can transform itself from one state to another, depending on whether it is in the composition of complex elementary particle or exists by itself. In the latter case, different states are also inherent to it, based on whether it is currently the information carrier or does not bear the information about other objects. If currently neutrino is a carrier of information, it is possible to detect and record this particle in the third dimension. The knowledge of the primordial electrophysics allows one to look behind the secrecy curtain of the structure of the material world to learn about the origin of its primary interactions and processes. There is a chart known from ancient times that contains information about the quantitative composition of phantom Po particles in each particle which takes part in most common and significant processes in nature, connected with interaction of matter and its structure. It contains description of both the particles that we already know about, which were mentioned under the names and notions in ancient times, and particles which science does not know about yet. For example, a particle that is called proton in the modern world consists of 12 Po, 12 phantom Po particles. Electron consists of 13 Po, 13 phantom Po particles. Neutron consists of 33, 33 phantom Po particles. The chart also includes the unique particles having a complex internal structure, unknown till today to official science, consisting, for example, of 25 Po, 39 Po, 47 Po, 60 Po, and also 72 Po. Did you notice that neutrino consists of five phantom Po particles and has the right shape of a five-pointed star? On the alatroscience.org website, using the designer of elementary particles from Po particles, you can simulate and visually display the three-dimensional arrangement of Po particles in a photon, neutrino, proton, electron, and other particles that have not yet been discovered by official science. Phantom Po particles, of which all elementary particles consist, are arranged in an orderly manner and from projection marks on a plane perpendicular to the axis of rotation of the elementary particle. Since all phantom particles are in a constant spiral motion, and the particle itself is in a continuous spiral motion in isoosmic space, the geometry of the signs respectively changes. At the basis of each elementary particle is a sign. You can find this unique information in the books of Anastasia Novich. According to the primordial knowledge of the science of White Lotus, a star is a symbol of the female divine nature. The circle itself symbolized spiritual powers, a characteristic of the soul in the meaning of perfection, wholeness, constancy, eternity, a designation of the spiritual world, an existence which has neither beginning nor end. The five-pointed star is a working sign associated with the powers of Allah manifested at the level of the fifth dimension. It belongs to the group of positively working signs. The five-pointed star sign activates a sense of justice and hope for the future in a person at the subconscious level and also encourages people to unite. Since ancient times, the star has served as the symbol of victory of the spiritual nature over the material one. In mythology, it was used to designate the union of heaven and earth. The sign was popular among the peoples of ancient Europe, Asia, especially the Sumerians and the Persians, Americas, the Aboriginals, the American Indians, and others.
A comprehensive study of the fundamental role of science will allow a deeper understanding of the multidimensional structure of the global universe and will make it possible to scientifically come to understand the single basis of all the diversity in the world, how harmoniously the world is arranged, everything in it is premeditated to the smallest detail, everything lies on the right shelves in the right place like a bona fide host would have it. Who has arranged this world in a such a mysterious way? More in this video. Powerful neutrino emissions in Antarctica. Global climate change on Earth. Unique research of the International Group of Scientists of Alatra Science. Effective ways to solve climate problems. Everything begins with the human and his choice. In February 2019, a unique program, Climate, the Future is Now, with the participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov, was released on Alatra TV. It discusses acute issues like causes and consequences of global climate change on the planet. This program also raises questions about the powerful emission of neutrinos in Antarctica. Also, Igor Mikhailovich, well, what is now happening on Earth? There are numerous earthquakes. Of course, the entire arena of fire is simply shaking now, and the magnitude of earthquakes is increasing, as well as their frequency, and people already observe them in those regions where this hasn't been typical at all. And people describe and confirm exactly what was said in the report regarding the fact that Earth will be split. That's what we are observing now. A big number of cracks, a big number of craters all over the world. The neutrino emission is also a particularly special topic now. You know, it is a new one in scientific circles. The fact that Antarctica is pierced by a flow of neutrinos of extremely intense power. As a matter of fact, the neutrino emission has started long ago, and this is mentioned in the climate report. It's just that the flow has now increased to such an extent that it can be detected. But this is actually… it's not news. It's just that, you know, the intensity of what is happening staggers by the fact that people don't believe, they refuse to believe that it's coming from the Earth's bowels, because if this is really so, then it's quite scary even to imagine what processes might be reflected on the surface very soon? Well, they are actually reflected. Why does the water go away? Why do cracks in the soil appear, as you say? This is basically a single process. After all, in actual fact, intensification of rains, drought increase, climatic changes, so to say, tropical rains which started in our region, all these are a single process. It cannot be considered separately, you see. This is like, well, let's say an organism. An organism is an organism as a whole. If we take one organ, forgetting about the entire organism, we will never cure it. In 2014, a report on the problems and consequences of global climate change on Earth, effective ways to solve these problems, was released. It is also published on the Internet for free. Global climate change is one of the most important international problems of the 21st century. The overall rapid increase in the dynamics of cataclysms, which have been observed in the recent decades, is particularly alarming. The report on the problems and consequences of global climate change on Earth. This is the ultimate reality of today. We can only state the fact that the events described in the report are becoming the reality within the specified time frame. In fact, humankind has been less than 50 years. Global climate change on Earth is basically a derivative of astronomical processes and their cyclical nature. The cyclicity is inevitable. The geological history of our planet indicates that the Earth has repeatedly experienced similar phases 
of global climate change. Already today, many people are forced to leave their homes and seek refuge in other countries due to problems associated with natural disasters and climate change. In the programs with participation of Igor Mikhailovich Danilov, a lot of attention is put on the topic of today's global climate situation. And now we know that there is a way out. This inspires many people all over the world to act. Participants of Alatra International Public Movement implement many projects that widen the discussion and understanding of the climate topic. Breaking news, climate control, globally on climate, and other projects of Alatra Geo Center. People understand the root of the issue and their responsibility to raise the subject to the global scale. It inspires people to speak instead of being quiet, as this concerns the destiny of our whole civilization. One of the international meetings being held on Alatra IPM platform is the interdisciplinary scientific and practical online roundtable, which is dedicated to the climate change topic. The effects of large explosive eruption on the climate are very important, and we know that the effect of, of this eruption are opposite to the, uh, the global warming. So we cannot minimize this effect. What we can do is to find new materials, especially in smart materials, and new sources of energies that is not polluting the world. Yeah, we should be changing individually, one by one. Alatra is recognized on the global scale as a unique platform which unites scientists and professionals from different fields of science, eyewitnesses and like-minded people from all over the world. Scientists have this opportunity to implement their sincere intention to help people. Alatra is where people can freely exchange their opinion and share their experience, solve problems without fuss and populism, and where scientists and eyewitnesses talk to each other. This is a platform where all people who feel the necessity to act unite their efforts. It would be nice if we could prevent the cataclysms or figure out how to move away from them, but it seems like all of this is quite global. There's not that many places on the planet that aren't being desperately affected by what's going on. So, you know, it's the same thing. It's based on principles of caring about one another. That's really what it's all about. And we don't need as much as we think we need. Understanding the world around us, being respectful of the earth, having a better understanding of natural cycles is gonna best prepare us. I think if we are less fearful and uh, we, we take more interest in science, we're more tolerant of other people and their perspectives. We could prepare better for tomorrow's drought or flood, and we could be happier. Despite the increase of natural disasters, people unite. When we are united on the basis of spiritual and moral values, everything is possible. We invite you to the upcoming international conferences, meetings and roundtables. You are always welcome to join activities and projects of Alatra International Public Movement. Thank you so much. We are happy that you are with us. During global climatic changes, it is vital for mankind to be able to foresee the development of physical processes and events, to learn to make estimations that can accurately calculate the behavior of nature. It is quite possible to solve these problems based on general laws of primordial Alatra physics. This is confirmed by scientists of Alatra Science who published their research in a report on the problems and consequences of global climate change on Earth, effective ways to solve these problems. Recent studies in the field of physics of elementary particles, neutrino geophysics and neutrino astrophysics, conducted by the working group of scientists of Alatra International Public Movement, reveals more opportunities for prospective basic and applied research. During the study, the important influence of cosmic factors on the activation of the internal dynamics of the Earth was detected. Due to the knowledge of the primordial electrophysics, 
the opportunity arose not only to fundamentally examine the behavior of neutrinos emanating from the bowels of the Earth and the Earth's own septum field to calculate certain correlations, but also to elaborate new methods for the forecasting of volcanic eruptions to conduct a more detailed study of modern magmatic formations of geodynamic conditions. Moreover, an opportunity arose to have a direct impact on these processes by means of climate and volcanic geoengineering. Thanks to the primordial electrophysics, it can be confidently proclaimed today that it is quite feasible to control the natural processes. In order to speed up the process of intensive development of this field, learn to get accurate results and objective information long before the event, and also have time to take actions to completely or partially prevent natural phenomena and to evacuate the population in advance. It is necessary to attract a large number of experts from various fields of science. We are not talking simply about thousands of specialists. First of all, these are professionals in their field, decent and intelligent people, who are free in their thinking from the zombification of the consumer system, who can selflessly improve this field in their spare time. Not for money or in order to create a new type of weapon, but for the sake of higher humane goals and to save the lives of future generations. And we are confident there are such people. For them, the information presented in the books by Anastasia Novik, in the reports of the international scientific team Alatra Science, and in the videos with Igor Mikhailovich Danilov on Alatra TV. As a hint in choosing the right direction for the development of their professional skills. The one who understands the seriousness of the upcoming events cannot be inactive. What is happening on the planet concerns every single one. No one can solve these challenges alone, whether it's a person, a family, a company, city or country. Only the unification of people into one friendly world family will help to cope with the global problems of the coming years. These goals are already being implemented by the Alatra International Public Movement, a worldwide, all-people's movement outside of politics and outside of religion, which today unites millions of people from more than 140 countries of the world. All its activities are aimed at reviving spiritual and moral values in society, towards friendship and unification of people from different countries, through joint projects, mutual assistance, consolidation of efforts in creative affairs. Whether there will be a tomorrow for us depends on how well we, as people, are united and reasonable in our actions today, here and now.